Good morning. Doug Petrie, operations trainee for Great Basin Team 7 with the operational morning briefing for today. So we had another good day of drying and operations out there. The crews were able to get out and get some good work done as the weather allowed. They were able to work up here in Division Hotel, uh, completing the suppression handline repair around the Windsor Creek area, Geronimo, and Cow's structures in there. All that work should be completed and signed off today. And they also were able to take advantage of getting some pieces of dozer line off this Elk Mountain area, little sections. Um, had some weather come in yesterday, so they had to sit down and pull back off the line. And then plan for today up in hotel is to continue assessing above the Iron Gate area, the hand lines and some pieces of dozer line that come off there. They will see if they can engage repairing those, putting in water bars, um, and doing the best they can to pull back berms. If the weather allows, um, coming down around here into the repair group, another good successful day using excavators to repair a little section of dozer line off here, the drop point 211, pulling back some stumps, putting in some water bars, dragging um, some of the logs back over that. And then another excavator is able to start work up in the spaghetti bowl of dozer line by Barella Peak. Uh, they were able to get a little bit more of that work again, dragging trees and stumps over the, the dozer line, pulling back the berms. Uh, plan for today is to try to continue that work. A lot of that will be based on the weather. IMET's predicting uh, potential for a half inch of rain up in that area with strong thunderstorm development. So we do have contingency plans in place. If those pieces of equipment and the crews are not able to engage, they will find other opportunities to engage other work as needed that they can complete safely. Coming back over here onto the east side of the fire, we have folks still out scouting and validating uh, all the private land stuff that was submitted by the QR code for suppression repair. Starting to build a fairly good plan for that. So in the future, when the weather does allow, we should be able to get in and start completing those operations that were needed and identified. Uh, again, a lot of this will be based on the weather today. So, and then futuring out the next couple days, the weather forecast does predict quite a few more rain showers and thunderstorms. So we'll just take that as we need and adjust accordingly. That's the end of the operational briefing for today.